time to be able to keep our population safe. This virus has presented us with a number of challenges. It has changed, the dynamics have changed repeatedly over the course of the past few weeks. Uh, we've been told that on different occasions that medical evidence has um, thrown up some different dynamics and as a consequence we have also had to respond to those challenges and the new information that has come to hand. We do not believe that we are out of the woods as yet and I think that the advice is sound from the Ministry of Health and Wellness in relation to guiding certainly the government of Barbados and the people of Barbados to a position of safety. With those, that background, sir, um, I wish to read the resolution to you, which says as follows. Whereas by virtue of section 28A, subsection 1 of the Emergency Management Act, Cap 160A, the Governor General is satisfied that an emergency has arisen as a result of a person or an animal having a communicable or notifiable disease. The Governor General may by proclamation on the advice of the Prime Minister after the Prime Minister has consulted or has been advised by the Chief Medical Officer, declare that a public health emergency exists. And whereas by Section 28A, Subsection 2 of the said Act, a proclamation is issued under Section 28, Subsection 1, and shall, unless previously revoked, remain in force for one month or such longer period, not exceeding six months as the House of Assembly may determine by a resolution supported by the votes of a majority of all the members of that House. And whereas the said pro proclamation has not been revoked and is due to expire on the 27th day of April of 2020, and whereas the House of Assembly has by a vote of the majority of all the members thereof determined by a resolution to extend the said proclamation, be it resolved that the proclamation aforesaid is hereby extended until the 30th day of June of 2020. Mr. Sirica, in essence, we hope that shortly we will review at the end of our, the, direct, the last directive number three that has been issued, that we will be in a position in a couple of days to be able to do a full assessment of where we are and on the advice of public health officials, be in a position to speak to the country again um, with respect to that directive or any future directives that may become necessary. But again, we ask Barbadians to be mindful that the imposition of a number of these measures are not to create any additional